Hi, it's Roger Osborne here. Here is my best ever, never fail, no measure beer batter recipe. It's what I use all the time when I'm cooking fish and everybody loves it. This recipe is so easy. There are only two ingredients. Self-raising flour and beer and a little bit of seasoning. That's it. I've got some delicious fish here that I filleted in a previous video on how to fillet whiting. Make sure you check it out. Have a look at the link in the description below and hit subscribe and we'll get into the recipe. Listen to this. Mm. I've got some lovely fresh Australian salmon here that I caught, some whiting and some blackberry. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put this fish onto this plate on some paper towel, just quickly. It's important to make sure that the fish is not all wet. I normally rinse my fish fillets in fresh water to make sure there's no scales and bits and pieces on them, but they just need to dry it on some paper towel so that the batter doesn't become all wet and soggy. The first step is to get your bowl and tip some flour in. I'm just going to tip a moderate amount of flour because I've just got a few fillets of fish, so just put a little bit of flour in there. Next thing after that is when you put your salt and pepper in, a bit of seasoning, so I'm just going to grind a bit of um, pepper in there. A bit of salt, just a little bit, not too much. Next step is just to grab your whisk. Whisk is really good. And just mix your salt and pepper in with the flour. Now it's time to add the beer. With the beer, once again, I said no measure. You're basically just going to add enough beer to create a nice batter consistency. So I'm going to put a bit of beer in there, start to mix it. Actually, you can see that that's a little bit too dry, so you add a little bit more. Actually, just going to mix it. Yeah, it's still. See it all bubbling up with the fizziness of the beer. The important thing to remember when you're putting in the beer is if you add too much you can't take it back out again. So you're much better off adding a little bit of beer at a time to the mix. Now if you look at this now I'm actually really happy with that consistency. A little bit like a pancake mix really. No need to add any more beer. So I think I might just have a little bit of a sip. So there's one more small step and then we're ready to cook. I'm going to get a bit of the flour and tip it on the plate and then I'm going to just dust my fillets. So my batter's ready. I've given the fish a light dusting and flour. I'm going to head over to the stove. You can deep fry or you can shallow fry. Today I'm shallow frying. I also own a deep fryer but I'm just going to put a bit of uh, vegetable oil in there. Maybe a little bit more. Just going to wait till this comes to temperature now, warms up a bit. You know, it needs to be reasonably hot because you want to seal the batter when you put it in the pan. Okay, my oil has been on for about two or three minutes now and it certainly looks like it's getting hot enough so I'm going to put my fish in the batter and put it in the pan. So we are ready to go. I'm just going to let the excess batter fall off this so I don't drip too much. I'm just going to lay that bit of fish. This fish has only been cooking for about a minute really, so it should be sealed. You can see that that's actually moving. It's not stuck to the bottom of the pan. Now what I'm going to do is I've, I've actually got some, some tongs. I'm just going to gently flip this fish over. Fish doesn't take very long to cook, so I'm just only going to give it about, at the most, another minute or so on this side. Just going to turn the stove off. I haven't cooked all the fish, but we haven't had any lunch, so we're going to eat this now. <laughs> It'll be good. I use this recipe when I make fish tacos. It's awesome, it works really well. So I'm just going to put a bit of salt, just another little sprinkle of salt over the top on this fish, and I'm going to test it. I've got a bit of um, aioli in here, so I'm just going to. 
Mmm. Mmm. That was a piece of whiting that I just ate. So now, the next piece, this is actually a bit of Australian salmon, which I normally throw back, but I'm just going to give it a go. If you gave that to anyone, they would just think it's the most amazing fish. So, that was my never fail, no measure, awesome beer batter. When you have things that are easy to do and you don't have to think about it, it just makes life so much more enjoyable. If this video has been helpful, if you like my recipe, it's so simple, hit like and make sure that you subscribe. I've got some great new videos coming out that we're working on and the fish that I cooked in this video, I caught in another video that I filmed teaching people how to fish off the beach. So make sure you check it out and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.